I've talked before about how sometimes the formal study of things is annoying. One example would be music theory. You don't need to know all the names of chords or scales or modes or, or any of that. You don't need to know that in order to break apart music. You can listen to it and go, wow, I hear these patterns and these patterns and these patterns and these repeat. You know, you, you can hear this. You don't have to give them names. You don't have to study it formally to break it apart. It's a way that, now, if you do study it formally, it is a way that you can discuss music with others who have studied it so you can more efficiently communicate music without actually playing music, right? But it's all about communicating with those who also know the same terminology and use the same terminology, right? And the same thing applies to sociology studies, as far as I'm concerned. They've, they've chosen to broke, break things apart a very particular way, and it doesn't matter if the terminology they use clashes with other things. They just use the terminology anyway. And then argue, well, you need to know, you need to know the theory. You need to study the theory. You know. I guess it's kind of, I guess I think of an example of music for a moment is, uh, let's say there's a song where it sounds like every, there's, there's ten instruments, and every instrument sounds like they're playing a different song. And someone could say, oh, that sounds terrible. And the next person next to them, no, it sounds just fine. If you knew the theory of da 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 you would know. And someone just kind of saying that. And it's this, it, it kind of reminds me of when people say, when, when people start using phrases like white supremacy and racism, and they're using completely different definitions of these words, or these phrases. Um... It's like, look, you can break everything apart if you want into some, some giant white conspiracy that white people are all complicit in because they, uh, uh, they're not trying to stop it. Therefore, they're complicit in white supremacy. Oh, God, just... See, the thing that makes it difficult is, okay... Yes, there are there are patterns left over that are from left over from slavery, left over from from real racism. There's a number of things left over in our system. They're still there. They're still pretty pervasive. Um, you know, these things should be worked on. Then there's then there's the side where whoever is in the majority, things are going to. Um, be tilted towards them the most. They're going. It's going to favor those in the majority the most. You've got that side of things. Separating what it is um, that is just patterns of the be just what happens when there's a majority in a country and the actual things that are actually racist. That's something that 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 needs to be done, or no, or people aren't going to understand. You've got to separate those things. You can't just declare that anything that that favors white people or favors the majority, oh, it's part of a system of white supremacy and we must dismantle it. No, just stop it. You've got to separate those things. Let's work on the things that are actually based on racism, that, that are patterns out of racism that, you know, Let's work on those things. Let's work on police brutality. Let's work on the, 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 the way that people end up looking at black people to where, oops, you're in the wrong neighborhood at this time. Oh, you must be a criminal. Yeah, let's, let's work on that. Let's work at, at, on, on how there's still discrimination in workplaces. Let's, let's work on that. 
Let's work on public schools. Let's work on the prison system. Let's work on a whole bunch of shit that needs to be worked on. It should be worked on. But when you, when you frame it as if it's this thing of uh, silence equals consent, and if you just want to, if you're white and you just want to live your life and treat, it, treat people decently, you're still complicit in white supremacy. Stop it. Just stop it. You're turning, every, you're turning all white people into your enemy unless they do your bidding. Do my bidding right now. Do it now or you're a white supremacist. That's what it feels like to people. Now, now, you're not, I understand, you're not calling these people white supremacists. It's the sociology uh, definitions of white supremacy. It's a system of white supremacy. If you know the way that people react to it, why do you state it anyway? Well, I think some people don't actually want things to get better. I don't think you really want things to get better. I think some people are enjoying this division. I think some people are kind of getting off on white tears, so to speak. And if that's what you want, fuck you. You know? Don't sit there and claim you want to make things better while all you want to do is divide people. Turn a whole, a whole section of, of, turn the majority of the country into your enemy. Silence can equal consent, but it doesn't necessarily equal consent. And pushing that onto the majority of, of people in this country is just not right. Okay, we used to have the goal of being colorblind. Now it's all different. Now we're bad unless we're promoting equality of outcome. We're promoting a system of white supremacy unless we promote a equality of outcome. And I just, that's not the answer. And the answer is not to attack capitalism. The answer is not to, it's not to, it's not to make everyone out to be your enemy. Okay. There's a lot more people on your side than you than you may realize. If if you've if you've gotten so far into this sociology stuff, you 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 know just just take a step back and look at what people are trying to be like. Okay, Pe most people are trying to be good people. Most people are against injustices when they when they hear about them. Okay. When you're so busy saying that, oh, the food supply, the food cha supply chain is it supports uh, uh, white supremacy. It, it 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 continues white supremacy, and this con this continues white supremacy, and this continues white supremacy, and 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 even even I've even seen things saying climate change issues is an issue around white supremacy. It's just because of how, what countries it affects and how it affects them. And it's just like, oh my God. Sociology has, has crammed white supremacy, that phrase, into just about every fucking facet out there. You know? I don't think it's a good idea to completely destroy the foundations of our society. It's just so you can get rid of something that there's only, like I said, you're not splitting it off. You know? <sighs> I'm probably not making much sense now, but... <sighs> Let's attack the things that are actually wrong. Let's not attack people that are just trying to live their lives. Please. You know, the people that want to be colorblind, stop looking at them as the enemy. That used to be the goal. Colorblindedness used to be the goal. Why is it not anymore? Because I guess nothing will ever be good enough. That's what it feels like. Who knows?